Hello and welcome back to I Made This Today. I am Reese the King, as always, and today we're here to draw Loki. Roll intro. So as I said in the intro, guys, we are here to draw Loki. And I am Loki excited about this. As we all probably know at this point, the new series has just dropped on Disney Plus for Loki. And I could not be more excited, man. I've watched the first episode freaking hyped. And I decided, well, what better way to celebrate that than to draw the man himself, Tom Hiddleston, in cartoon form as Loki. And uh, I picked some pretty cool reference images for this that I'm pretty sure are going to come up in the show. Uh, you know, <laughs> President Loki. If you're familiar with any of the comics, then you'll probably recognize this image. Uh, I've given it a bit of my own flair, and I've removed a little bit of more of the mature content out of this, uh, i.e. the blued, because, you know, I like to keep it a little bit more PG around here. So, let's get drawing, get into the sketch, Get into the pen work, the inking, and then let's chuck some colour on this bad boy and call it a job well done. I'm really excited for this, like I say. Um, whenever I get into a project like this, I like to get a good few reference images. I've got some good images of Tom Holland, uh, good images from the cartoons, and a couple of other images from the show. Put them all together, mash it up, and kind of put my own interpretation on spin on these things. And then I go for it. It's all exciting. Anyway, let's dive into the project. Let's get this going. Shapoopy. So we start here doing some simple pencil work, just trying to get my shapes down, get the character going, you know, get a feel for it. And I don't know why, but normally I would start with the face, but this time the face just had to come in last. I just, uh, I was nervous about getting the face right. And I feel like pretty damn pleased with the way it came together, to be honest. But, you know, it's cool. I'm pleased. So with this one, getting the line work down felt real freaking good to most of you. It came to life, as it always does when you actually get the inking stage going, and damn man. He looked good. I was pleased with this. I feel like I could give this to you guys as a colouring in project and you would enjoy yourself. Should I do that? Let me know in the comments down below. Would you like to see a colouring book of my ink work? Okay, line work's done. Time to get to the colour. Let's get colouring, baby. So whenever I'm using the alcohol markers, a good tip for anyone that's new to it, go from the absolute lightest variant that you have, work through into your darker shades. It sounds super obvious, but you can't go backwards. So always start with that super light thing. Then you can hit up, do all the highlights, do all the low lights, all of that stuff just sort of falls into place. And it gives you that nice gradient variant from that super white edge lighting to coming into the gray suit. And I just felt like it kind of did everything it wanted to, man. I did the same thing here with the green as well. It's just getting in there with that super light version for the highlights and then you can tone it all out with the other colors and give it that flair that you're looking for. I quite enjoyed this part actually. This is where I sort of put the pattern down on the suit and it actually came out really good. I'm super pleased with it. But yeah, if I can give you any tips at all with alcohol markers in my time of learning these as a new thing to me, a fairly new thing. Um, like I say, definitely starting with the variants. I try and use three to four colors per color. So if you're gonna do a color of something, like I say, get that three or four variants, it really helps you do all the shadowing, the highlights and everything. It just it just makes things pop when you get that extra bit of flair and color going into every little detail. Like this crown, you know, it just looks so much better for having that bit of reflectiveness to it and gives a little bit more of a realistic yet cartoony vibe to it. Even with this hair, you know, I used literally, I think, four different colors for this hair. So it came out just the way I imagined it would. Now, I feel like, as always with the characters, once you get their face colored in, everything just comes to life again, you know, and this character becomes a thing. And getting this shadowing in sort of just, ah, oh, really, man. I was super duper pleased with how this all came out. Everything about this is quite a new way of drawing for me, but also 
really fulfilling and I just feel like you can't go wrong with something like this when you're enjoying yourself and you're hitting something new it's a win-win situation now with this in the background I wasn't sure whether I was gonna do a, like a hard line around this is why I left it as pencil work initially uh, but the more I started coloring into it the more I started feeling like actually having a bit of a harder line in the background is gonna help sort of push Loki forward a little bit give him a little bit more presence and also it kind of just fleshes out the back a little bit. Initially this should probably have blood running down it but as I said in the intro I'm trying to keep this channel PG I don't really feel like it's absolutely needed to make this piece look good you know I just feel like it looked better the way it was uh, and kept it a bit more PG and then once this line work goes in for me finished it off. And there it is. It's done. The finished article, man. I am really happy with the way this came out. Honestly, it's probably one of my better ones I've done. Uh, as I always say on this channel, I'm learning. Uh, I'm by no means a professional artist, so it's just fun for me to learn and dive into all of these projects, whether it be the incredible ones that we've done before, the coloring books or the 1000 challenge that I did, like all of the different things that we've taken on. And I feel like each and every time I take away something new from a different style of drawing, from a different style of coloring. And you know, each time I feel like I'm getting better and better and better. And I, I'm really super duper pleased with this guy. It just looks, it looks great. I, I'm, I'm tooting my own horn. I know I should probably hate my own art because that's a typical artist thing to do, but honestly, I just feel super proud every single time I get finished with one of these projects. And I'm just pleased that I saw it through. Um, also, we did this, I, well, I said we, I mean, I, I did this in, um, I think probably about four hours, five hours in total. It wasn't too much of a long project. It was one that I could just get together, lose myself in, play a whole bunch of music and podcasts, and just relax and just enjoy the process. Uh, because that's what it's all about for me. I don't know about for you guys, but for me, I find drawing super relaxing. It kind of goes through waves, actually, if I'm really, really honest. It goes through a wave of complete uncertainty. Uh, oh my God, this looks trash. Oh my God, this looks trash. Oh, it's looking okay. Oh, I like this. I'll ink it. Oh, this looks trash. I should have left it black and white. Oh no, it looks great. Oh, I'm really happy with this. We have some really cool stuff coming up in the future. I still have my custom Game Boy, which is actually completely finished at the moment. I just need to edit the video to get it out to you guys. Man, it came out real freaking nice. So look forward to seeing that very soon in the future. Uh, we have a whole bunch of other stuff that's coming as well. We have the custom PS5 that's getting done. I'm gonna be starting that pretty soon, shall I say. Yeah. And uh, we also have some more Lego stuff coming up. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. Oh, and a resin project. So if you have anything that you'd like to see me try, um, let me know in the comments down below. Or some cool drawing ideas. Let me know. What would you want to see? Tell me and I will make it happen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Good. Bye.